Well, uh, I'm truly humbled by the strong endorsement that Singaporeans have uh, given to me in the presidential election. I first want to thank my fellow candidates. They put full effort and energy into their campaigns and uh, made it a worthy contest. Uh, so I really want to thank them for uh, having contested uh, with full effort and it has been a worthy contest. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Singaporeans for uh, following the issues closely and for engaging calmly um, it, throughout this uh, presidential election period. Uh, I believe that the uh, vote for me and what I stand for is a vote of confidence in Singapore. I believe that. It's a vote of confidence in Singapore. Uh, it's a vote of optimism for a future in which we can progress together and support each other as Singaporeans. Uh, that has been my platform and I believe it has received strong endorsement by Singaporeans. So it's not just about me. It's not about me. This is about Singapore and confidence in Singapore. It will have to be a future where we have deeper respect for each other as Singaporeans. It'll have to be a future that ensures that every generation gets the confidence of knowing that we have reserves and we have the backing that will help help us in the future come what may. It has to be a future in which Singapore is never treated as a small country, just another small country, a future where we are taken seriously in the world, we are a partner of choice, and where we can project our voice of reason internationally in, a, in an endangered world. And it has to be a future where we deepen our solidarity as Singaporeans, regardless of our differences, regardless of our backgrounds, we deepen our solidarity as Singaporeans. It is what I've stood for, I believe it is what Singaporeans stand for, and this vote is really a vote of confidence in that future. Uh, I'm so happy to have with me my, my centres, uh, my wonderful team of centres, they're all hidden by the, by the crowd. Uh, Mr. Thomas Chua is here, my proposer, Mr. Alami Musa is here, Mr. Lim Siong Guan, Mr. Ho Kong Ping, Mary is here, Sister Mary is here. Mira, everyone else is here, Kim Waiki, Kamsina, they're all here and they came onto my team because they too share this vision of the future, a vision of deeper respect for each other, a vision of confidence in Singapore's future. I pledge, and it will be my duty, to use the roles and responsibilities of the President to advance this future of optimism, and solidarity among Singaporeans. That is my pledge. And once again, let me just say that I'm truly humble and I will honour the trust that Singaporeans have placed in me and respect all Singaporeans for the views they've expressed, including those who did not vote for me. So let me, let me stop there. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to take them. How do you feel about the turnout today? Well, this, uh, this was organic. People uh, heard on the news that I was going to be conducting the doorstop here, so uh, they came down. Uh, I've been a long time in Jirong, and uh, uh, it is an emotional place. Mr. Tamman, some voters today were told to leave because they uh, wore pineapple-related uh, clothes or carry pineapple-related objects to the voting centre. Right. What do you have to say to that? Well, I <laughs> think... It's unfortunate, but the ELD has to maintain its rules. So, I, I felt sorry for them, but I, I suppose the ELD had to maintain its rules. Do you have any words to say to your opponents and friends tonight? Uh, yes, I just, I just spoke to Mr. Ng Kok Song before I came down. I also tried calling Mr. Tan Kin Lian, but I couldn't get a reply. Uh, so, I will speak to him later. Uh, and I, I commended uh, Mr. Ng and I will commend Mr. Tan Kin Lian um, for their very active um, participation in this whole process and the perspectives they put forward as well as the, just the sheer energy of their, their campaigns. So I thank and commend both of them. Mr. Tan, just now you took a call upstairs. Was that uh, from Mr. Uh, yes, it was.
Yes, and I was trying to get Mr. Uh, Mr. Tonkin Lian as well. So when the final results are in, how will you celebrate? And what will you be well, doing? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, having a sudden celebration. I'll be uh, going to a few places tomorrow. Uh, again, just to thank Singaporeans. But uh, this is the start of uh, uh, a, ho a whole period of duty and responsibility. Uh, and I, I really mean it when I say I'm humbled by this vote. It is not just a vote for me, it is a vote for Singapore's future. A future of optimism and solidarity. That's what it really is. My campaign was one of optimism and solidarity. And I, I believe that's what Singaporeans want. Mr. Sandan, how are you feeling right now? Me? I'm over the moon. In our, in our campaign, I met so many people with so much joy. And tonight, we see it concentrated here. So much joy. So we hope that this is a period of much more happiness for Singaporeans. Unfortunately, we don't have tails that we can wag. Well, I think we are progressing with each half decade. Uh, this was a contested uh, election with a multiracial slate. Uh, I've always said that race is never absent in uh, politics anywhere in the world, or even in an apolitical election of this case. Race is never absent, but it is not the only factor. It is not the only factor. And I think with each half decade, Singapore is changing and evolving. Uh, and I hope that my being elected uh, president is seen as a, another milestone uh, in that process of evolution. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and thanks to the media for a very fair treatment of all the candidates, uh, extensive and fair, and putting across all their perspectives. Uh, the media played an important role in this maturing as well, in my view. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.